Hello, hello, I'm Breton, one of our MCAT tutors here at Inspira Advantage, where we help students get into med school and other professional programs. Welcome to our video on the hormones excreted from the anterior and posterior. Welcome to our video on the hormones excreted from the anterior and posterior pituitary glands. The pituitary gland, also known as the master gland, plays a crucial role in the endocrine system and is an important system to know for the MCAT. The pituitary gland is divided into two parts that you need to know, the anterior pituitary and the posterior pituitary. The anterior pituitary, also known as the adenohypophysis, is responsible for producing and secreting several hormones that regulate various body functions, which we'll jump right on into. A way to keep all of these hormones straight is the, is the acronym FLATPEG. So let's start first. F so the F in FLAT stands for FSH, or follicle stimulating hormone. The L for luteinizing hormone, or LH. Both of these hormones regulate the reproductive system by controlling growth and maturation of the ovaries and testes and the production of estrogen and testosterone. Then we have ACTH, or the adrenocorticotropic hormone, or the adrenocorticotropic hormone. This regulates the adrenal gland, which produces hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline that help a, that play a role in the body's response to stress and the regulation of blood sugar levels. Then we have TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone. This hormone regulates the thyroid gland by stimulating the production and release of thyroid hormones. Thyroid hormones regulate the body's metabolism and energy levels. Next up, we have prolactin, which stimulates milk production in lactating women. It is also involved in the regulation of various other, various other physiological processes, such as immune function, endocrine function, and behavior. Next up, we have endorphins. These are those feel-good hormones that help relieve pain. And finally, we have GH, or growth hormone. Growth hormone stimulates growth and cell reproduction. It also regulates the metabolism of carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and plays a role in the healing of injuries. It's important to note that these hormones have a complex interplay with each other and often act in concert with hormones released by other endocrine glands, such as the thyroid, adrenal, and gonads. Understanding the specific actions of these hormones and how they interact with one another is important for the MCAT and for understanding human physiology in general. Now let's jump into the posterior pituitary. A lot easier to remember than the anterior pituitary. You'll see we just have two little things here. First, we've got oxytocin. Oxytocin regulates the contraction of the uterus during childbirth and the release of milk during breastfeeding. It also is involved with various other physiological processes such as social behavior, stress response, and blood pressure regulation. And then we have ADH, or antidiuretic hormone. This regulates water balance in the body by controlling urine production. It promotes water reabsorption in the kidneys and thus helps to maintain a proper fluid balance and blood pressure throughout the body. It's important to note that these hormones are produced by the hypothalamus, but are released by the posterior, posterior pituitary gland. The hypothalamus and the pituitary gland are closely linked and work together to regulate various physiological processes. I hope now that you see that the pituitary gland plays a vital role in the endocrine system, and the hormones it releases have a wide-reaching impact on the body. Understanding the functions and interactions of these hormones is crucial to do well on the MCAT and, you guessed it, for understanding human physiology. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.